with studying for the LSAT, I, I've looked through, I've glanced through your website a little bit with all the materials that you have. Um, do you have anything in addition to that that you recommend to students shooting for 170? Yeah, sure. So aside from the free stuff, I have guides, cheat sheets, checklists, explanations, study schedules, and full video courses for every section of the exam. Okay. And aside from all that, of course, the actual official LSAT prep tests published by the Law School Admission Council. And so aiming for 170 plus, I would recommend doing at least the newer half of all released exams. There are nearly 100 of them released. Okay. Nine, uh, nearly 90 of them are numbered. And then there are, are a handful that are unnumbered. So I'd recommend doing the most recent 50 or so. I wouldn't do the older ones at the expense of the newer ones. So don't start with exam number one and work chronologically up to the present because you may never actually get to the newest ones if you take that approach. Start in the middle, then start to work up. And then if you find that you have the time, you could dig into some of the older ones perhaps, especially the logic games, if you, if you really want to perfect logic games. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.